What's up? I got told the best story today and you have to hear this and I think this is gonna totally apply to all of you in different ways. So uh, one of my clients, we're talking and we're talking about anxiety and all the craziness that's going on in the world and the stress and all the fears, like being afraid of things that have happened, haven't happened, might happen. And she tells me the story about how when she was like younger, uh, her cousins or something would sit on a chair and they were little kids, adults probably don't do this so often, and they would spin around in a chair with a cat until the cat got dizzy and then they would put the cat on the ground and one of the cats would stay perfectly still and wait and then it would go off. And they would do the same thing with another cat. And the second cat, as soon as they put it down, would jump and bounce all over and basically it was dizzy and it would knock stuff over and it would go crazy and it was having the impact of the dizziness. And when she shared this analogy, I was like, what do you see? And she goes, I'm being the dizzy cat. And what she means by that is the world is chaos. The world is spinning us insanely and we can't control that. Just like those cats couldn't control it. But the moment that it stops, we get to decide what happens next and how we show up. Are you the dizzy cat who jumps and springs and is going bananas with anxiety and trying to fix and do everything to control the chaos of the world? Or are you the cat that chooses to pause feel the feelings, that cat was feeling dizzy feelings, it simply didn't react to them. It felt them and it let them pass and then it made a choice to move in the way that it wanted. How are you showing up? Dizzy cat or let's say mindful cat? I think this is really powerful right now. Right now this is so powerful because the world is chaotic. The world is crazy. The world is is unpredictable and it's always been like this but now it's like glaring in our face like a spotlight and you get to decide how you're gonna show up in your business in your relationships with your friends with your family I invite you I implore you actually for your own good because being having anxiety and being fearful is sucks to maybe just take a minute today or tomorrow or five and pause and feel all the feelings, all the fears, and all the anxiety, and all the things that you're afraid that may or may not happen because of what's going on in the world, and simply acknowledge them as being fears, and fear is okay, breathe into it maybe, and let it dissipate and pass, and then choose how you wanna move forward. And here's just another tip. Don't plan for six months from now. Don't plan a year from now. It's too far right now. Things are, we have no idea what's gonna happen today or tomorrow. Every day the news changes. But I think the best tip I've been working with and giving a lot of my business clients is chunk down. Plan for this month and this week. If you used to look at your finances monthly, look at them weekly, look at them daily. If you used to plan the next six months, plan the next two months or the next three months. Go smaller and things that you have can more handle that you can more control and you can more play with. And, and you might only do this for a while, but clunk, chunk her down, be the calm cat, the mindful cat, not the dizzy cat. Good luck, I hope you're doing well out there. And uh, if you need any support, if you need any encouragement, if you just need to vent, if you need to call, I got you, don't worry about what it might cost or, or whatever's stopping you. Um, support exists, whether it's for me or someone else, it's out there. Just ask for it, and if things are going great for you, congratulations. And if you want them to go even better, I got you on that too. All right, I hope you got something from this, and uh, I hope you're able to, to stop being the dizzy cat and be the calm, mindful cat. Thanks, client, you know who you are, who is brilliant and gave me this.